But right now we're at my first stop. We're picking up at 5:30 parking slip 513, which is this one right here. You can verify with the last four, 1110. Same thing right there. And yeah. We could just back hook this up real quick. Head to our next stop. Oh, and then usually what I like to do once I back up and I hooked up, kind of like to do a little, a little tug, just to make sure that I am fully hooked. I don't want to like raise the landing gears, connect everything, pull off, and then the trailer just falls off. So that's something you don't want to do. <clears throat> just connect these. This one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you wanna make sure all your lights are working. A little kick to the tires. My flap is here. So I'm from, yeah, I'm picking up an empty, so I don't need to seal for this for this one. Just want to make sure. Well, I believe we're about to be on 95. I kind of ride the, the left lane. You're not supposed to. But I mean, as you can see on the opposite side, everybody's driving on the left lane. The reason is when you're in the middle or the right lane and there's like incoming traffic or, you know, the merge, then you're just going to be there waiting for a while. Because the... Especially in New York, these drivers, they will not let you, they will not let you merge. So what I do and what most truckers do is they get on the left lane to try to avoid that. So you can just kind of ride along here and not really have to worry about people really getting into your lane as much as if you were on the middle or right lane. Honestly, I was expecting some traffic this morning. Even on my way to work, I didn't have any traffic. There was no traffic going to work. There was no traffic um, getting into New York until you're in New York. So, that's pretty cool. No traffic, hey, I'll take it. I mean, there's traffic now, but. All right, look, you can see right there. You see that? That's where people are coming into the highway and they'll just drive around you. They don't care if they have the little space, they will get around you. They will find a way. And you just gotta have to stop because some of these drivers, I feel like they're not gonna stop and you're just gonna cause an accident. You're just gonna end up hitting them because they're really that crazy out here. So I just try to avoid it. I just try to go on this lane. See now here, I pretty much can just go to the middle lane at this point. It's not too much traffic anymore. So I could definitely try to merge myself into the middle lane. Like they see me trying to get into the middle lane and they don't stop. And this guy wasn't even in the middle lane. He was in the right lane. I like honking that horn. This truck has it on the steering wheel. Some have it on the on the right side or left side. I mean, you just pull the string. This one has it on the airbag. Just press. These bridges, the heights be lying. It says twelve ten. This truck is thirteen six. But yet, all of us, all the trucks end up fitting. So I don't know. They must have made a mistake, whoever measured it. But for example, like you can see it's 1210 on the left. I've been on the left. A lot of trucks been on the left before. The middle is 14-3. But the left, I've been in the left lane. And I cleared, so I don't know if that height 
is accurate. Put some AC, it's a little hot. We're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow, but today is it's nice, it's about like 50 degrees. Now yeah, you guys can see we're gonna go 95 North to New Haven. away from the stop oh my camera is straight So we're gonna drop a door, dock door 126. And then I guess we gotta wait for the, the load cause it's not ready. So 126, oh, I see it over there. Eh, yeah, I'll probably just wrap around. <clears throat> I didn't get to record uh, backing up on the other building um, right now we're going to a different location I ended up bobtailing out so they didn't have any empties for me so yeah we just had to drop off on that last stop we were just at and then we just had to head out so we're gonna pick something up over here though uh, these people are stopping and going they don't know where they want to go we're gonna I think I've been to this oh I actually have been to this location before I kind of like this area it looks nice and it's a lot it's a lot of space most of these locations that I'm going to or almost all of them you don't have to really interact with anybody so you just you know pull up to where it says stop and the camera will read your, your license plate and then it'll just populate every all the information while you're there what you're picking up or what you're dropping off and picking up and then yeah other than that like pretty much it's easy you don't gotta deal with anybody which i kind of like we are here i'll pick it up or i'll yeah i'll turn on the camera back up when we get back to when we get closer to the check-in process and you guys can see it's over there i don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but yeah I'll, I'll pick it up over there all right so this is the check-in process 
you guys can see pull up you're right here look at this camera check your app as well make sure let's see sometimes you do gotta talk to these people sometimes all right so you I didn't get to read what parking spot I have to pick up from, but, oh, it's not ready. So we get to park in one of these tractor parkings and we just wait, but I'm gonna go to the trucker's lounge and I'm gonna heat up my food. So I'll pick it back up when I park in the tractor parking and start eating and whatnot. But yeah, we, we're gonna have to wait probably an hour and a half till this food, I mean food. I'm, I'm really hungry. You know I'm hungry. Until this trailer is ready. So yeah, I'll pick it up when we when we gotta pick up this trailer and when it's ready. No, I didn't even know I was recording. All right. Anyways, we just got out of the spot, hooked up and everything. We're good to go. Uh, I believe we're going back to Jersey. I think that was this was the last stop in Connecticut. Oh, we're going to Staten Island. My bad. But we gotta go through Jersey. So. Navigation, I gotta be there by 1949. Okay, I arrived by 1932. So around 7-ish, I believe it should be 7.32 is where I'm gonna get there. I hope my camera view is good. Like sometimes I look at the, the video after and it's kind of like, tilted or either two up or two down but I'm doing the best I can trying while using the GPS <clears throat> I was trying to connect it so I could see the preview and it wouldn't work so you guys are gonna have to deal with whatever I get from this video GPS. Kind of find it annoying when the GPS talks to me, so I always put it on on mute. <laughs> I tend to try to fix this a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Back on 91 South. Let me just check and make sure I don't have to go to any exit anytime soon. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't. Nah, we should be good. Once I know I'm gonna be on the road for a certain long, certain period of time, I just put the cruise control on. That way you can rest your your foot. So then you can see I don't have my foot on the gas. I just control it with this button right here. That's only when you're on a highway and you're gonna be on that highway for a you're gonna be on it for a, for a bit and there's not really that much traffic and it comes, comes in handy, it comes useful to use it. Look at the nice view. See all that water. 
definitely got another Amazon Prime right there. It's a lot of traffic right now. Rush hour. Literally about to be 5 o'clock. Just thought I'd show you guys some of the traffic I got to deal with every day. Thought I'd pick the camera up again since I was driving. I was getting a little, a little sleepy. Not like sleepy where I'm going to close my eyes, but... I was a little tired so I just decided to pick up the camera and talk a little bit but yeah look at this it's a lot of traffic you got I always kind of I don't try to keep this much space in front of me because you're just gonna have a lot of people cut you off but yeah I'll close the gap a little bit <clears throat> and winter storm expected we're supposed to get a big snowstorm tomorrow in the northeast connecticut's pot should get about 9 to 12 inches of snow jersey where i'm at uh, anywhere from five to nine inches of snow i'm not sure if we're gonna work tomorrow i hope we don't i'm not trying to drive in the snow even though i know a lot of people do drive in the snow but personally me i wouldn't i just wouldn't do it if it's nine inches of snow out on the ground you're not gonna get anywhere. My car is not even gonna get out the driveway with five or s five to six inches of snow, let alone nine. So we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. It's supposed to start snowing overnight. So we'll we'll see by the morning time how's how's it looking. So we are about to. Well, I'm about to get to a, a rest stop. Probably to get some, get some water, use the restroom. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to take my break here or take it in Jersey, because there's more rest stops in Jersey. So I don't know. Still pretty early, 5:39. I'm gonna work till 11, 11 ish. So I don't know. We'll see. Definitely gotta use the restroom though. Always try to. Just so when I'm, cause from here, there's no more rest stops until Jersey. And I'm about to leave Connecticut, so. And there's barely any stops between, and there's a lot of like traffic, so. That's why I'm gonna just park right now use the restroom do what I have to do so that way after I'll be good to go I don't have to worry about using the restroom when I'm driving but you guys can see I'll park right here you guys can see all the trucks oh, I think it was tilted but you guys can see all the trucks I just checked I have a route for tomorrow and all the spots that it's sending me to is supposed to get around eight inches of snow. So I'm not understanding how we're gonna do that. I don't even understand why Amazon is opening tomorrow. My parents work for Bob's Furniture and they don't, they're don't they not gonna be open tomorrow due to the snowstorm. So I'm not understanding why Amazon won't just shut down for the day if it's gonna be a heavy snowstorm. A lot of people are gonna call out Think about it, a lot of people are gonna call out anyways. Not a lot of people are gonna come to work in a warehouse. So not, not none of the things are gonna get delivered. It's gonna have to get rescheduled. So you might as well just close it down because people like me, like I'm not gonna, if I see it really, really, first of all, I drive a real wheel drive Mustang GT that after five inches of snow, I'm not getting anywhere with that car. So, and I live about like 25 minutes from from my job, not including traffic. With traffic is like 35. Imagine with snow, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to get to work if it's too much snow out to begin with, let alone drive the truck. So we just got to Staten Island. I am tired. I'm gonna take a break after this. And we just have to just wait and see which 
door to give us to drop this off and then we gotta pick up an empty and after that drop the empty off and we should be done i think that's the last stop is after this one one more stop and that's it all right so we gotta park this at 166 i already have the doors open because i thought i was supposed to park at 116 but it was 166 yep I don't know you guys can see but this is why you always do your pre-trips on the trailer any trailer you pick up because look at this this thing is flat it doesn't have no air so I already caught contacted my dispatch and let them know I came around made sure the doors were closed I never always you never supposed to always trust that these are already looked at sometimes they have the doors open Sometimes the latches are not even properly closed. So you always gotta check all your tires. But that's not good, so we're not taking that. We're gonna unhook this and leave it right where it was at. All right, so we just got back to the yard. Uh, as you guys saw in the last clip, the left outer tire rear on the trailer, um, it was basically had no air so you know i had to call dispatch let amazon know so they could put it out of service and then basically just bobtail back to the yard because i had nothing to drop off to the other stop and i didn't have any other empties so yeah basically that was today's route we're back at the yard as you guys can see i don't know if you guys could pick up from the camera there's salt already like they already put salt on the ground because we're supposed to get hit with about about five to eight inches of snow maybe a little bit more depends on the area and the elevation um i'm hoping it's not too bad like if it's not a lot i will come in and work but if it's to the point where my car can't even make it out the driveway or down the street it's just gonna have to stay home it is what it is but that's all i got for you guys i mean if you guys want to see any anything else just comment down below i haven't i already made the channel for for this content for trucking and i don't know if i'm debating if i should make a, a, a instagram too for it i'm not sure yet <clears throat> But where do I park? I parked right here. And we're gonna have to leave it. Yeah, like I was saying, if you guys wanna see anything else, I mean, whatever you guys wanna, any questions you guys have, 
just you know comment down below like the video subscribe whatever you guys want to see actually no this video is not done i still gotta go to the gym so i'm gonna let you guys see what i do after work head to the gym probably show you guys when i go in and that's probably about it so yeah i'll pick it up when i get over there so as you guys can see you know the day a life of trucking you know you should hit the gym at least try to stay healthy eat healthy if because this job all you do is sit so it's going to be pretty easy to gain weight in this field so yeah definitely try to get a gym membership eat healthy stay active because work, working in this you're going to gain some weight you definitely don't want to get fat in a year or two and let yourself go so yeah i'm gonna show you guys that on my way to the gym so I'll pick it up when I'm on my way.